What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morris. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about travel and technology with an emphasis, of course, on security and privacy. And today I am at the Consumer Electronics Show 2020 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is my second day at CES 2020. So I have been going to a bunch of press events today. And one of the most interesting ones I went to was the AMD press event. Now I was standing in line for this one and I was asking around to people like, what do you think AMD is going to announce this year? A lot of people were thinking like, oh, they might introduce a new GPU. We were actually very, very impressed and surprised by what they announced. Uh, AMD ended up getting lots of applause and lots of oohs and ahs from the audience. And I could basically say that they dropped the mic. Like they could take all their candy and go home. Like uh, they announced everything that they possibly could. So we have a new mobile processor, we have a new GPU, and we have a new update to Threadripper. So I'm going to go through each of those and describe them a little bit and give you some specs that we got from the show floor. So I think my favorite announcement was the Ryzen 4000 mobile processors for laptops at seven nanometers thin. Now this is based on the seven nanometer Zen 2 architecture. We have already seen the Zen 2 already in desktops with the Ryzen 3000 series. However, this is the very first time that we're seeing such a thin architecture in chipsets inside of mobile laptops. So these chips are brand new and this is going to allow us to get better processing in much thinner units. So I'm very excited about this given that I am a mobile content creator, for example. So these are going to rival Intel's i7 10 nanometer chips, and they are already thinner than those 10 nanometer chips from Intel. Uh, so we have 15 watt Ryzen U series, which is going to be for ultra portable laptops. There's also going to be a Ryzen H series, which will be 45 watt for gaming and content creation. Now, obviously that's a very big difference between the two, but both of them are on that Zen 2 architecture. And each series is going to have Ryzen 3, 5, and 7 models. So you won't end up with just one of each. You will end up with several different models to choose from, which I'm going to assume will definitely change the prices of those laptops as well. Now they did show off a couple of different laptops on stage. Uh, one that I wanted to point out was the Yoga Slim 7 from Lenovo, which I also got to see at Lenovo Suite. It looks really nice. I'm super excited to get hands-on with that. So hopefully I can get a review unit in. As far as the specs go for the U series, those again are for the ultra portables. Uh, there is one that they give as an example, the Ryzen 7 4800U. That would be eight cores, 16 threads with 1.8 gigahertz as the base clock speed. And it could go all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz. They also mentioned it would be 4% better for single thread performance, 90% better, yes, you heard that right, for multi-threaded, and 28% better graphics over the competition. So obviously, again, they're talking about Intel. Uh, the Ryzen 4000s, all the different models are going to be two times as power efficient compared to the second generation chips as well. Uh, and then we also moved on to the 45 watt H series. Now these are Ryzen 7. Uh, as an example, we saw the 4800H this is an 8-core, 16-thread with 2.9 gigahertz as a base clock up to 4.2 gigahertz again. Now, for this example, uh, we actually had Frank from Alienware. He moved over to AMD, I think it was last year. He was showing off the Asus ROG, or Republic of Gamers, Zephyrus G14-15. Uh, I thought this one was kind of cute. It also had this little LED customizable display on the back, and it was saying, like, ROG loves AMD. AMD loves ROG, so that was kind of adorable and really enjoyed checking that out on stage. I can't wait to see that in person too. I do have a meeting with Asus, so hopefully I will get hands-on with that laptop as well. Now, after we got a taste of the mobile processors, they also introduced us to a new GPU. So this one is going to be a mid-tier GPU, which will go right in between the 5500 and the 5700 series. 
So this one is called the Radeon RX 5600 XT. Uh, there's also going to be a 5600M and that one's going to be available for mobile, but not a lot of news about that one. They were really focusing on the one that's going to go in desktops. So this 5600 XT, uh, this one is actually coming out really soon, January 21st, and it's going to be $279. And that is a awesome price for this GPU. And it looks quite powerful. So I'm super excited to check that out as well. Lenovo is here at CES 2020 showing off their newest line of consumer products. Lenovo has a vision of bringing smarter technology to people and businesses around the world, and they're doing that by creating new technologies that will build a better digital society, one that is built on inclusivity, trustworthiness, and sustainability. Now, by building out a comprehensive portfolio of smart devices and infrastructure, Lenovo is leading a path towards that vision vision of smarter technology for all. Check out everything Lenovo is doing to bring this vision to life by visiting Lenovo.com and visit Lenovo.com slash CES to learn more about all of their newest products and announcements. And I want to thank Lenovo so much for sponsoring my channel during Consumer Electronics Show 2020. Now the last thing that we saw on stage is insanely expensive, but actually compared to the competition, it's not that bad. Although I couldn't afford one, even though I sort of kind of want one just because it looks awesome for content creation. Uh, this is an upgrade to Threadripper. So this new Threadripper is the 3990X. So it's a third generation Threadripper CPU. This one is 64 cores, which I realize is nuts. I realize that number is like totally out there and most normal consumers probably would not need one. However, if you are a content creator, if your business is content creation, like if you're working with Hollywood or if you have a job that runs a ton of servers, this might be something you wanna look at. So this is going to have 128 threads. It'll boost up to 4.3 gigahertz. It starts at 2. 2.9 gigahertz as the base clock and it will cost $3,990 and that's going to be available on February 7th. So that one's also coming out fairly soon and I'm really really stoked to hear more about uh, people testing these and really get getting them to run at the most efficient speeds and finding out a little bit more about like clocking the speeds and everything so it's going to be really exciting this year as far as like consumer grade gaming especially for mobile especially for laptops I'm very very stoked about it so I was really impressed with AMD's press event I thought it was awesome and I'm so happy that I was able to go there and experience it let me know what you think as well comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content from CES now as usual I really appreciate everybody who watches and thank you so so very much to my patrons as well as Lenovo for sponsoring me until the next video which is coming up very shortly. I'm Shannon Morris. Thank you so much to my s'mores. I'll see you next time. Bye.